Fox 6 7. Welcome to a life of honor, service, teamwork, and pride. Welcome to the Canadian Forces. More than 90,000 Canadians serve in our Army, Navy, and Air Force in more than 100 trades and professions. There are men and women just like you who accepted the challenge and mastered the skills to prove themselves in one of the world's most elite military forces. Across Canada and around the world, in times of war and national need, the Canadian forces are always ready to defend, to help, and to serve. Members of the Canadian forces span a wide range of careers and commitments, from part-time service in the reserves to full-time occupations in the regular force. At home bases in Canada, aboard ship or on deployment overseas, all Canadian Forces members enjoy the security of a stable job, many benefits, and a great working environment. Regardless of whether you're in the Army, Navy, or Air Force, every member of the Forces starts their military career with basic training. For the regular force, this takes place at the Canadian Forces Leadership and Recruit School in Saint-Jean-sur-Richelieu, Quebec. Basic training teaches you the basic skills and knowledge common to all trades. It will make you physically and mentally fit and leave you with a great sense of achievement, purpose and confidence. Compare how I was before to now, uh, yes, I have changed drastically. I have a lot more confidence in myself. I know that if I put my mind to something, I could achieve it. For the reserves, basic training may be conducted locally at your home unit. These courses are held on weekends, spread out over several months. For officers and non-commissioned members alike, when you're done at Saint-Jean, the next stages of your training will depend on whether you're in the Army, Navy, or Air Force, and on the specific occupation you've chosen. Throughout your training, you'll be housed in dormitory-style barracks. You'll wear your uniform during working hours, and you'll be fed at the base kitchen. Once your training is complete, members of the regular force will be posted to one of the Canadian Forces bases across the country. At work, you'll wear your uniform at all times. But at home, your dress and your lifestyle will be the same as most Canadians. Many members who are single choose to reside on base in barracks like these, although you can't always count on space being available. The rent is reasonable and meals are offered at the base kitchen, again at a reasonable cost. Advantages, I guess, would be saving money and just the convenience of living on base. So you have the gym right there, stay in shape. There's lots of guys looking for people to play various sports, whether it be basketball, volleyball, badminton, squash, hockey. I could literally play hockey every day if I wanted. The food is surprisingly good. <laughs> I'm actually pretty big fan of it. It's going to be hard to move out and have to cook for myself afterwards. For personnel with a spouse and or children, there may also be on-base housing available for rent, even if only one of you is a member of the forces. But many members choose to live off-base in private housing that they rent or own. I'd like to think I, I live a normal life. I have a wife and two kids. Uh, we live currently off-base. I think I have the best of both worlds. I have uh, a, a job that I can play out in the field, be in the sandbox, if you may. But at home, I get to be a father and get to see my kids grow up. Whether you live on base or off, you'll find schools, hospitals, sports and recreation facilities, family resource centers, and other community organizations that enhance the quality of military life for both single people as well as families. In fact, many Canadian Forces members are actively involved in their local communities. Members of the reserves continue to live at home in their communities, working part-time with their reserve unit or full-time joining regular units for exercises and deployments or serving full-time for limited periods under terms of service that can last from two weeks to three years. In the regular force, you'll get four weeks off per year with pay right from the start. After five years of service, that goes up to five weeks of paid holidays. By then, a commissioned officer's annual salary could top $70,000, and other ranks could be earning over $50,000 a year. Having a good, steady salary was always uh, something in the back of my head. Aside from the travel and patriotic side, uh, to be able to do all that and be paid at the same time, uh, it's a, it was a healthy career choice for me. So, uh, the pay is absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't be very honest if I didn't say that the uh, the pay wasn't an incentive. It's a, it's a great pay structure with the Canadian military. The, the pension's fantastic, and I can sail away from home knowing that my loved ones are taken care of as well when I'm gone. 
Reserve Force personnel are paid a daily rate for the days they are on duty. They may also be eligible for a transportation assistance allowance depending on the distance between their residence and their unit. You also receive free medical and dental care as well as prescription drugs. And you can apply to have your dependents covered under the Public Service Health and Dental Care Plan. As for your pension plan, it matches the program of other members of the Federal Public Service. While they're under contract, reservists are also entitled to free medical and dental care. And they're entitled to participate in the Public Service Health and Dental Care Plan to provide coverage for their families. Keeping fit is a big part of the Canadian Forces lifestyle. Whether it's in team sports like basketball, softball, soccer and hockey, or individual workouts at some of the best equipped gyms in Canada. Many bases also have swimming pools and arenas, and all of these facilities are also available to your spouse and children at a minimum cost. The military fitness center that is dedicated to the soldiers is also dedicated to the family here. My, my kids get to use the same facilities that I use in my training. Whether you've just moved to a new posting across the country or you're about to leave on a six-month deployment overseas, it's a stressful time for you and your family. No matter what you or your family needs help with, information and assistance is available through the Military Family Resource Centre located on every Canadian base. You'll find trained professionals and dedicated volunteers to help you with counselling and referrals, even employment assistance for your spouse. The people here were so friendly, they uh, right away grabbed a bunch of pamphlets on what do you need to know, tell me the dynamics of your family, how old are your children, what programs would you want to use. What the military is trying to do is show that they really are a family and they do take care of their people. The military has been very good to me. I uh, had a daughter who had special needs and uh, required me to be home almost 200 days of the year to take care of her in the hospital. And the military is the only job in the world where uh, They'll uh, give me the time off and pay me and support me the whole way through. A career in the Canadian Forces is so much more than making a living. The career in the Canadian Forces allows you to see things that you normally wouldn't get to see in the civilian world and, and experience things that you wouldn't. So you're part of a much bigger thing when you're in the Canadian Forces. I've made some of the best friendships of my life here in the military, whether it be through the training you go through together, or whether it be when you're overseas, the stuff you go through, you form some really strong friendships. Since I joined the military, uh, and I've progressed, and I've done different jobs, uh, I've been very proud of what I've been able to accomplish. I'm 28 years old now, and uh, most 28-year-olds that I know, they, uh, they don't have the responsibility that I do at this point. There's other things as well, you know, as being part of the military, things like going on adventure training, the, the whole camaraderie, esprit de corps, you know, having a team that you're working with all the time, and then feeling like you're, you're really making a difference when, when you, you get to participate in some of these, these activities like deployments and things like that. Well, I wanted to serve in the Canadian Forces. I was not born in this country. I actually immigrated to this country, so I wanted to give something back. My calling personally was definitely to um, contribute to Canada as a whole and the experiences that I've gone through thus far have really made me the person that I am today and better prepared for anything that comes my way from here on in. There's no career more challenging or rewarding. An opportunity to take part in defending our country and participate in world events that will change your life and the lives of the people you're helping. You'll obtain world-class qualifications. You'll gain skills and leadership. You'll visit more destinations than most people will see in a lifetime and make great friends along the way. Are you ready to make a difference?